Human Leadership Podcast. I am so grateful to have you guys back here. We're going to dive into a, another great topic as we're rolling into episode 27, if you can believe it. Uh, if you missed our last episode on transforming knowledge into wisdom, I invite you to go back, check that out. Of course, all the other episodes are all there and I appreciate your guys' feedback and comments. It's been really well received to hear what's resonating with you. And I want to make sure I'm continuing to bring you value and leading you to victory as you become that most intelligent human leader. One way we can do that is taking that knowledge, like I talked about that last episode, and giving you actionable ways that you can take it, convert that to wisdom, and really apply it in your life. And I'm going to just take a real-world example I just had this week in speaking with a colleague about a particular challenge that we all face in, in life, particularly in work, and other areas of our life. But really it's this, this idea of balancing short-term problems that we've got to face with having and maintaining long-term flexibility to address these, these you know, bigger problems or challenges that we have um, and maybe project deliverables and demands. This is very common in the AC industry, environmental consulting, where I've spent a majority of my career and why I came into creating stewardship businesses to help leaders lead well and understand how to balance that themselves and with their team. And so we're going to dive right into this problem today because we want to navigate and gain insights in some of the tools that I am drawing from in my history of doing this for over 20 plus years with Wake Up Warrior tools, Giant, other tools, Full Focus Plan. There's a whole host of tools that I have in the Steward Yourself program that I could help you. And we have even a short challenge opportunity coming up if those of you that are interested in hearing this will be launching coming up here on July 8th. So I'm recording this here in mid-June. We're coming up. If you're hearing this, we'll have other future opportunities. But coming up here on July 8th, I'll be running a, uh, a one-week challenge where you can learn some of these tools firsthand, work with me, very low cost. I'll be sending more information about that. So reach out to me, and we can dive more into that. Uh, but today, the episode is really going to be focusing on and addressing this problem where we have face face urgent issues that require immediate solutions and sometimes these quick fixes hinder our long-term goals but they often can also help us too it depends on where you're at your voice order some things we're going to dig into in this episode to help you get clearer on when do i spend the time on the short-term problem and when and when do i you know pause on the short-term problem or look at saying okay that's a short-term solution, I should say. And maybe I, I look at this longer term solution. And so there is a there is a toggle that we're going to get into and how we address this tension between the this, this short term problems and the answers that solve those and the long term problems and the answers that we solve those. So we want to break them down into kind of three areas. There's ones that are quickly happening to us. Uh, when we look at about the things around us, the world, the technology changes, right? Uh, there's a new law on the books. Uh, a new client comes in. They have a different expectation on the way things have to be done that you weren't used to before. And so these are all some things that can pop up. And if you're not prepared, it's going to affect your long-term uh, ability to create project deliverables and these other elements that you may be working in your company on. And so we want to be able to break these things down and understand understand them. There's also internal constraints. Um, there's resources that we may not have that unlimited resources, right? There's organizational inertia. Um, there's resistance to change on some things and where we need to go. And so when we're looking at trying to address problems and, and these challenges in an effective way, we have to evaluate, okay, do I just try and solve this one issue and just check the box? It's kind of a Band-Aid. And sometimes there are days where you have to do that. And there's other ones where you're like, man, this is a bigger issue. Um, and we need to step back a little bit more and, and maybe not just be you know running and putting out fires all the time. Uh, if we have to, we have to to a certain degree. But we want to make sure that we're, we're doing this more intentionally. And I'm going to get into some tools and resources how we can do that. This is a, 
this is a struggle for everybody. Uh, in the book, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, if you haven't read that book, there's a great, you know, um, visual, or you may have heard of the Eisenhower box. It's just a different way of breaking down things of their importance, their urgency. Uh, what, where does it fall in there? And so today on the podcast, we're going to dig into this issue. Number one, do you resonate with this? Do you recognize this? Hopefully you do, because I've had this challenge, this push pull throughout my whole career. And the reality is it's not just in business, right? It, it affects you in your life, in your personal life, in other aspects of your life where there's a, there's a, a longer term goal or objective. And then you have these shorter term things in there. And so it's a matter of like toggling with like how much time and effort do I spend on the short term solution when I know there's a longer term better way of doing things and so it's like we have to go back and forth that and there's different ones that are calling on us like i told you earlier there's external ones around us uh that may be going you know that we have to respond to um and then there are these internal challenges and then honestly we look at this um and and we want to balance our long-term vision and 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 our productivity and our mindset. So if, if we're always going to the short term, that's a problem. If we're always going to the long term, that's a problem. We want to be uh, both future oriented if to a degree or if, if, if thinking about the future and present oriented. That doesn't mean you have to do it all. This is a good, important thing too. Recognizing where your natural default is. So some of you are going to be in uh, a present orient instead of mind. They're, you're naturally going to tend to do the things right now in the short term that need that help and need to be addressed. Other of you are going to be much more looking at the future and and having that bigger picture and have the flexibility. So there's a range of, of responses here and neither one is right or wrong. They just are. And you have to recognize your tendencies here. And so this is a great lead in to some of the tools and the resources. And you guys have heard me talk about the know yourself to lead yourself tool, that infinity loop. If you follow me along, uh, I've talked about this on social media, my channel on, on the different channel channels that I'm on. So if you're not following me, please do. Uh, I love, I always love interacting with you, whether it be LinkedIn or Facebook or Instagram, I'm on all the different ones. And I'd love to hear from you, either David Carr or steward your business. Uh, but this is really important. How do we, respond what's our tendencies to triggers uh, i'm not going to do a deep dive on this episode because I, there's a lot more i can do with these tools but i want to get you aware this episode should get you aware and be able to clearly identify is this a short-term problem and or is this a longer term problem and how am i going to approach it who am i going to pull on my team what's my response what's my behavior so when we recognize this and we understand, is this coming from outside of me? Is this coming from within me and or within my organization? How does this show up in where we're going as a bigger company, our vision, our mission? These are all important questions. And I want to be able to equip you being that most intelligent leader to make the right decisions in how you're focusing your time, energy, effort, leading yourself and your team. Right. That's the whole point of this podcast is equipping you to be that leader, to be that person in influence. Right. Maybe you don't like the word leader, but, but what I want to do is you're a place of influence the, 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 yourself and those around you. And we've all been around people. We can feel the energy when you're stressed out, you're overwhelmed and you're trying to compete with multiple you know, demands. And we don't want you to crumple in. We don't want you to burn out. We want you to be strong. We want you to be courageous. We want you to be a person that brings light to the world in which there's a lot of darkness. And so this episode is really help you in, in get equipping there. So part of this is understanding your tendencies. And you can go back to uh, previous episodes on understanding who you are. Uh, one episode uh, 23 um, is assessing your baseline, kind of where are you at, right? Know yourself to lead yourself. I did a whole episode on this, episode 22. Um, but I'm coming back to this because it's so important when we understand we're trying to deal with specifically these short-term demands and, and 
understanding these longer term goals and how we're, we're flexible and we're able to achieve those. So if we don't know our core principles or values, right? If we're not clear on that, and I've talked about this before in the past too, uh, in the Warrior Framework, we have a code or a core. Code meaning we're always telling, we wanna tell the truth. And we wanna live in this fundamental understanding of our values, to tell the truth, to live in integrity and be in alignment with our long-term goals. Now, you can address these short-term requests and these, these challenges with our values, and we understand how does that align with our overall person or the organization? What does the organization stand for? What is a priority to them? What is it? What is meaningful? And if you're not clear on that, you may be trying to answer that short-term problem, or you might be answering the long-term problem at the expense of the short-term one that needs it being addressed based on the values. So consider that, how you're showing up. And when you're living this way, you're going to be empowering your team to do the same thing. You want to lead from what you live. That's what I personally subscribe to. And we want you to get you in a place of power and certainty so that when you make a decision, when you choose a direction to go, others can have confidence and know they're, they're getting online, they're following with you, they see that you're making the right decisions, they see the benefits, they see the fruit of your actions. So as you know yourself and you lead yourself and you, you have a foundation of clear principles and values, you can then move and make better decisions on how you're going to address these short-term requests and how you're gonna make sure you get these long-term goals, these project deliverables down. Ultimately, we're leading ourselves, right? The focus of this podcast is to lead ourselves and then we can lead our team. We wanna empower them and have the tools and the mindset to handle these crises, especially crises. I just got off the phone with a client. I've got a request. They need some things down there. So we break it down. We understand like what's, What's the immediate needs? What are the assumptions? How is this going to affect some long-term goals and objectives? So get people on your team. Do not do this in a silo. Reach out. Do you know who you can talk to? If you're more present-oriented, right, and you're not the future-oriented person, you're asking like, hey, can we need you to think about this, that, and the other thing that's going to happen in the next three, six, nine months. You're like, man, I, I don't, I, I, this is not my normal way of being. I need to bounce some ideas and think that think through this. Or maybe you're the creative type where you're like, I can do all these different things and you need somebody to help narrow it down for you, like a guardian voice uh, or perhaps even a nurturer voice. So this is so powerful and this is why I infuse this. And I'm excited coming up for those of you that are working with me and business owners, I'll be incorporating five voices for teams coming up. Uh, that certification uh, I'm going through right now and then I'll be able to bring that to you. So uh, stay tuned for more on that. Uh, I've been using the five voices for over a year. Really enjoy that tool. It's been very effective for me and for those that I've got to work with. So we want to empower your team. And we've talked about that on past episodes too, knowing your leadership voice, either on this podcast or the business Roundtable, which I also invite you to go listen to. If you haven't found me on that, that podcast where we have guests on, on there that, that speak to the challenges and that they're facing in the, the business world. But again, remember we talked about this in previous episodes, like different stories come up, right? Different narratives come up. And so how, again, do we assess that in an ob objective way? Not subjective, but we're really trying to do it objectively. We're trying to take all the emotions, all of the things that are swirling around, right? Where we're getting hit and sometimes We've got to slow down or stop in order to go faster. It's counterintuitive, I know, but one of the tools that we've talked about on this um, podcast is the stack tool. So if you want to listen to that, go back to episode 20, where we reframe our stories. And so if you have a certain story, like I can't do this, there's not enough time, or I don't think it's as important with the values, there may be different stories that run around there. What we're trying to do here is to break down and help make better decisions, balancing these urgent demands with strategic objectives. What way we live this way, when we become this way, 
as becoming the intelligent human leader, we incorporate both. It's not either or, it's understanding how do we show up that way for ourselves and for our team. And so when we are doing that, we can then shift gears, so to speak. And think about it, if those of you that probably don't drive manuals anymore, there aren't very many of you, some of you can manually shift, but there's a place of downshifting. There's a face of, up, you know, you know, shifting up there. And there's a ways where we want to move between how we are showing up for work. And I really like in the giant world, and I haven't talked about it this too much in this podcast, but this idea or visual, if you can think about it, of the, of the five gears or gear shifter, right? Um, where you have to move your energy in and out and you have to know when, when to move with that high energy and when to pull back. So there's a, you know, high energy where you've got to solve problems right away. There's challenges. And then there's this like, Hey, we got to slow down and be reflective and, and maintain balance. And so if you're, again, you're, if you're always in one or the other, you, you may not be, able to balance these demands that we've talked about. The premise of this episode is really balancing those short-term challenges and problems that you're facing. They'll always be there with these longer-term goals and objectives, maybe programs that you're working in that could be very long, could be uh, six months, a year, two years, could be much longer projects. So it's like, you know, you want to make sure that those actions that you're doing today are contributing to the long-term success uh, and keeping that in mind. Um, and like I mentioned before, the, the idea of the, the quadrants is another way of breaking it down from the, the planning and whatnot. And so in the warrior side, we actually go through this whole process in the warrior app where we can actually help you break down your longer term vision into manageable months and weeks. A uh, great book that I read many years ago was called The 12 Week Year, where it was taking away annualized thinking, meaning Yes, you can have these goals, but really we're trying to make sure that we're implementing this. So it's taking those daily, weekly actions that are contributing to your long-term success. And those are really, really important, but if they can get side, can hijacked or sidelined by these kind of always urgent things that are coming on board. And so you have to choose wisely You because you can't always be one or the other you're going between these and that's why i want you to be that intelligent human leader being able to do that fluidly comfortably effectively right um and so what's let's talk some real world applications here uh for those of you that are in the aes industry are in environmental consulting and you can place other other industries as well but if we know this about ourselves and i'll give you an example i'm much more of a big picture person and sometimes i'm not always in the weeds on some things or when i do get in the weeds i get really in the weeds so i kind of go to extremes and so sometimes it's necessary to find other people on your team uh to to look number one are you reflective number two are you inviting input or reference from others are they able to speak into your life and again, we talked about know yourself to lead yourself. That's a great tool, foundational understanding of like, who am I? How am I showing up? And I am I leading people into victory or am I being more of a hindrance? Uh, you might want to go back to, I'm throwing out some different episodes because I feel like there's so many right ones. But one of the episodes I talked about, are you leading with impact or are you being a hindrance? Understand how you lead because you might be a roadblock to either the longer term success or these short term responses. So look at yourself critically and assess whether you're contributing or being a hindrance. Um, again, if you're not clear on your values and what you adhere to, take time, identify those, speak to those, make sure you share with your team, lead by example. Do you have a clear mission statement? Do you have a clear value and, and those articulated? Do you refer back to them? How do you recognize people? Are people in alignment with them? One of the things I really like doing at a previous company, uh, we would identify people that were living the values and we, were, we would acknowledge them. We would say, hey, this person is, is living this value. We would want to celebrate them and say, how are they doing that? Well, they, they respond to this urgent client request getting a deliverable, getting a report out the door, getting a survey scheduled, right? 
great. That's that's one. Or maybe one of the longer term ones is they came up with a great vision or an understanding of how to do a new process. They wrote it all down. They got all the steps put together. Great. Reward them. Identify them. Uh, we talked about this recently on a business roundtable podcast about how do you recognize and reward your employees more than ever. It's so important that you're engaging them um, in multiple ways, not just one way. Uh, so, are you you know going through and stacking yourself, or going through and journaling, or modeling that for those? Like, how are you internalizing it in the problems or the challenges, and how are you modeling that for your team? One thing I really love about the stack tool is it's something that you can easily share as a PDF or you can send a link. It's your, literally your thought process, your emotions, what you're going through. And that stop process helps you gain clarity on, well, do I, do I move on? Do I really double down on the small problems that are coming up or these urgent ones? Or do I back off from those and look at this bigger issue that I need to really focus in on and know that that will pay dividends in the long run if I take that energy and effort now? So leading your team well, understanding how to train them, how to move through different modes of work, that energy, right? From intense focus on immediate needs to the strategic long-term planning. Those are, those are two different ways of being. And we wanna make sure that we're empowering our team and making sure that we know that those that do those best are in the right seats and helping each other. Um, so, I, again, I can't answer all the questions here. This is a very sh short podcast in the sense of I'm giving you some highlights and some actionable tools that you can do. And we can dive much deeper on a one-on-one -on -one conversation, which I invite you to reach out to. If you're getting value or you're hearing something, you're like, man, David, I heard a nugget today that I can take and be aware, leave my team, leave myself better, then great. Leave a five-star review. Your comments and, and feedback are vital. I'm really here to help you be that most intelligent leader as you show up. You're the healthiest person in the room. So you can help you know, literally kind of like put your oxygen mask on, right? Like they say on the airplane so that you can help others. We want to make sure that you're that person and you're leading from that place. But if you're struggling or your team is struggling or you know somebody else, you're like, man, as you're hearing this, like they would really benefit from going deeper on this. I just feel like they're, they're not aware. They're stuck in the doing mode and they're not living a way in a life that they're really purposeful, that they have peace, they are, they're in a place of power and certainty in a great way, that they're moving very purposeful, intentional, leading with really influence, that others would want to follow them. Even if they don't consider themselves a leader, they just admire and they look up to them because of the way they're showing up. That's what I want for you. And I want when people come around you to be like, man, when I was around this person, they're, they're just left in awe in a good way, shock and awe, but just in a way that they're just like, man, this person has their act together. They know where they want to go. They know how they, they can help people. And that's my my goal here in Steward Your Business. That's why I created Steward Your Business. That's why I created this podcast. I'm so grateful to, for you to be along the journey with me. And together, together, I'm creating community so you're not alone. And you can talk and you can be real about the challenges. It's like, you know what? I missed the mark. I focused all these smart to small term things and then I couldn't get the big thing done. Or I was so focused on the big thing, I dropped the ball on some very important small things. There's no guilt and shame here. You come into a community and a place. That's where I've created in the Steward Yourself program, a place where you can be real, raw, relevant, and get the results you really want in life. So... I appreciate you joining in. Thank you for su subscribing, tuning in, whether you're listening to me on your favorite podcast platform or for those of you watching me on YouTube. And if you want to go see me, I'm there too, along with all the Business Roundtable podcasts and others. Uh, I welcome you guys to share your feedback, your comments. Please share, like, and subscribe. Of course, all of those things help me and getting the word out and really bring victory to you, the most intelligent human leader. I'm rooting for you. I want to see you uh, have that amazing success in your life. And until next episode, take good care. Thanks for listening, everybody.